Well, howdy, howdy, howdy. Nearly seen her since the air breathing boys, girls, and all of our non-binary friends, and welcome to this another brand new day. Yes, indeed. I have a little active fuzzy boy. Yay, a little fuzzy boy. This is Ghost. He's been very active this morning, so I just had to bring him out and show him off. He's a cutie, and I don't want him to freak out, so I'm going to put him back into his home. And he's a sweetheart. Here we go, little guy. He's getting so much better. He doesn't even freak out when I put him into his cage like that. Definitely a thumbs up. He's getting so much better. When I'm doing stuff, and I did a lot of stuff today, going straight into this one, I had to change his little bucket of reptisand because it's reptisand is just sand for reptiles, but it's also yeah, like aquarium sand. And it's but it's okay for hamsters and other small critters because it's not dusty. And it's just, it's good stuff all around. I have to make sure my shirt is sitting at least halfway symmetrically. But this morning, after a couple days of not checking it as religiously as I had been, I went through it this morning and it was pretty, pretty wet and, and such with, with urine and the like. So he's using his reptisand as his bathroom, which is still good because that means the rest of the cage is clean. So I emptied out the container. I had been scooping through it with a fork before to get the, the solid stuff out and then refilling it. But this was, it just all needed to go out. So I just dumped out the sand, put him in a new container. I'm going to have to put some more reptile sand on the Amazon wish list. Oh, excuse me. So thumbs up on that. But little ghost is a sweetheart. He's been, oh, good golly, Miss Molly. He's been running around and he's an absolute little cutie. Definitely a thumbs up on that. For the Shelton Washington weather report last night when I went out walkies, late. It was late. I mean, late for me. So I got back at between 8 and 9, I think. Or maybe I left around that time. <laughs> I wasn't up much longer after I got back. I went back to bed. Not back to bed. But I went to bed pretty soon after I got home. So... But it was gray. Of course, it was gray. It was dark. The sky was cloud. I can't speak English. There were stars. <laughs> and it did not rain. It is not raining now. I can see the sky and it looks clearish. So, thumbs. I have to see it through tree branches and stuff. So, I can see a tiny bit of it. And what I can see looks clearish. So, here's hoping definitely a thumbs up so there is nice weather there's nice hamsters there's my shirt is not gonna sit symmetrically upon my body no matter what I do today thumbs up for that I have been talking with my youngest child on Facebook of late well I use Facebook for messenger because I don't have a phone more on that later of course and so we've been contacting and that's good because this child of mine is the last one in Washington State. All of my other children have moved to Montana, so thumbs up on that. Oh, I got a dead skin or hamster bedding or something that was on my thumb, so thumbs up for that. Yay. Past that, let's see what else I have on my list, because there's not a whole lot, because not a lot has been happening, like, since yesterday. I mean, I've just been living in this room, playing games, uh, going for walks, and then uh, uh, sleeping. One of the things that did happen yesterday, <laughs> there is this one YouTuber that I really like, Josh, who I don't know the last name, but the, the channel's name is Let's Game It Out, and it was about the game Valheim. Now, it's been patched a lot, so the exploit being showed in the game no longer works, at least partially. But what he was doing was he figured out, because the first thing he does when he gets a game is to start see what breaks. And he discovered that if you gather up enough resources and the version that he had, if you ran up to an enemy, you could build a campfire underneath it. And then it would burst into flames. So as it's running around trying to attack you or trying to run away from you, you're throwing campfires underneath it and it's bursting into flames. And then eventually it just burns. 
and he was just dealing with everything that way. And he also discovered that if you have cave entrances, you can extract the cave entrance. So if there's a cave entrance and a pile of rubble, he would dig out the entire thing. So it was just floating in the air, and then you should jump up and get into the cave. And then, of course, discovered that in the game what you're doing is because you've been raised by a god in this land and you're trying you're vikings and you've got bad guys to defeat he discovered that if you kept recalling up the ritual to bring this one boss in it would spawn another boss and so he kept doing that and doing that and doing that until there was no way to do anything there were just too many bosses there so he he's insane absolutely nuts a good thing if you ever see if you like watching youtube channels if you like watching gaming material if you like watching somebody who just says i'm gonna break this game Let's see what happens. Then it's worth it because Hokey Smokes, he does a lot of weird stuff like that. Especially games like Cooking Simulator, one that I sort of want to do for the channel because the wonky physics of Cooking Simulator are like the wonky physics from the game Goat Simulator. And the game Goat Simulator was just wonked out physics entirely. Absolute insanity. Same thing with this game, of course, because you're trying to pick stuff up, stuff flies everywhere. Every time you set a plate down, there's a chance it's going to shatter. So it's an insane game. So if you like watching Let's Plays again, check out the Let's Game It Out cooking simulator stuff. Definitely a thumbs up on that. Past that, though, uh, nothing really going on in my life. I've just been thinking of story stuff and existing, playing games. I haven't really been able to think of too much story-wise because it was all like just from yesterday. But I've been trying and that's a good thing. We all have to be as creative as possible. And of course, during these hard times with everybody's heads where they are, it's going to be hard to make it through these difficult times. Try to be good to yourself. Remember that if you think things can't get better and your life is terrible and that's just the way it is, where you are today is not where you will be tomorrow or next week or the week after, the month after, the year after, the decade after. Life is change, life is motion, things are always happening. So where you are right now is not where you will be tomorrow. And yeah, you have to do work, you have to work on stuff. If you just drift through life, such as I have, things aren't going to change. You have to do the work. That's why these past couple years I've been going through therapy and trying my best to do the work. And yeah, where I am right now, is far, far past where I was, even just last year. I mean, even with the g losing ground because of everything that's happening, life is motion. And if you are the same person that you were last year, you need to do some personal growth. Sometimes there's external things that slow down your growth. I mean, if you're in the United States, especially with the, the pandemic going on, I mean, or if you're in Britain or any of these places where the government response has been less than optimal, we'll put it, then yeah, you may be stuck in the same place that you are because everything is stuck. We are stuck in a bad situation and we're not really moving forward in a lot of these places like again the US and the UK and places like that because every time we try to step forward to get out of this we've got the people out there the anti-maskers the anti-vaxxers the just plain you know, morons holding the rest of us back we could have been out of this 
but instead we're not. So, in some cases, you're not going to be able to move. You just got to hunker down in survival mode, do what you can. When the, when the fire is over, when the storm is done, continue your growth. You can do it. It happens. It's hard, but you can do it. Thumbs up for that. What else have I got to talk about? Not a whole lot down there. Cokie smokes my topics list is very short because well as stated not a whole lot i've just been trying to think of story stuff cosmic horror things i've had speeches from characters that help define what they do that i've run over because with my memory if i do not have constant reinforcement i forget and i find it difficult to write stuff down so even though my storage up here is extremely volatile, it's pretty much the only place I store all this stuff. On the other hand, there was a nice thing that I read from just, just a post. It was an online thing about being creative. And I have said before, you do not have to monetize your passions. And it's true, you do not have to monetize your passions, what you like, what you enjoy. You do not have to turn into a monetary stream. It does not have to be income. There is nothing wrong with enjoying something and making something, if it's something that you're going to make, just for your own pleasure, your own passions, your own joy. You don't have to monetize things tied in with that this person made up a post that said if you are one of those people that cannot do the full completion that's fine that's fine you don't have to if you come up with broad story strokes but you can't do the whole story write out the broad story stroke and then go on to the next one if you're good at making up original characters but you can't do the full detail on them do that partial work on your original character and then once you're happy with it drop it and go on to the next thing you don't have to create for a reason you don't have to create to make money you can create because you feel the need to create and there's nothing wrong with that that's wonderful if again your painting is done in just broad strokes and is none of the finer details that is fine that is perfectly valid in fact in art there are plenty of art styles that are abstract and minimalist like that where the person spends time getting the broad strokes done so that the broad strokes look good no finer details none needed there's nothing wrong with that. Indulge yourself, be creative, have fun, a good thing. And I've opened up 24 hours worth of comments in my community tab. I'm going to go through and thank 20 to 25 people for having left me a comment. I'm not reading the comments right now. I'm going to read them afterward. Thumbs up each one I do. Answer as many as I can. But for right now, I'm just thanking you for having left a comment. Good, bad, and different. You took the time. You expended the calories. Thank you very much. If I mispronounce a username, no disrespect is intended. I'm an American English speaker, and even though I count in American Sign Language on the fingers of this hand with my depression, fibro, and more, I'm sometimes like I can remember anything at all. I have forgotten to breathe at times, but then that's, I got sleep apnea, so. Excuse me. We have Ezequiel Rays. I'm nowhere close, but thank you very, very much. Vincent Stubblefield, greatly appreciated. Tommy Nelson, thumbs up and thank you. Jackson Hucut, thank you. Death NVK3, how about that? Levi Ackerman, thumbs up. Brutish Wing 2.0. I have insomnia already, and when I take stimulants, I can sleep. So I'm not too worried about that. And Tourette's not in my life, so I'm, I think I'm going to be okay. But I will be careful, of course. 
Stance Midnight, thumbs up. Michael Quinn, greatly appreciated. Martin Kepke, thank you. Martin Thomas, thank you very much. Top Lex, greatly appreciated. Advanced Poison, I like the name. Thumbs up. Lolo Bafe, thumbs up. Russian Timing, good to see you in the comments, my friend. Triple X Tentacion, thumbs up. It's a fan name, of course. Iceberg6901, thumbs up. Ricky Bettini with the daily reminder to live every day to its fullest. We are nevertheless, who had a nice conversation conversation with Russian Timing in the comments. Ethan Klemenko, thumbs up and thank you. Fikri F, thumbs up. And I do like the... I want to learn more about Indonesia. I'd actually would like making a video about Indonesia. Kyle Dill, thumbs up and thank you. Colin Reisenauer, greatly appreciated. The Wusky, good to see you in the comments. And Travis Quinn, greatly appreciated. Each and every one of you. You get me out of my head, into the world, dealing with real people, if only in text. Definitely a thumbs up. If you could check out my various links down below, I have Twitter, Facebook, Patreon.com. If you could become a Patreon.com patron like one of these beautiful and awesome people whom hopefully I've got the updated list done today, if not today, soon. Now, if you cannot donate or you simply do not donate, I do take all good wishes and I deposit them in the bank of my heart. I messed that all up. <laughs> Let me see if I can do this all over again. It's... If you could check out the, uh, the various things, da 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 da. There's, well, I messed it all up. I went and we were going and talking. I derailed myself. So, thumbs up. Uh, there is a PayPal link if you could check that out. There's an Amazon wish list link if you could check that out. That would be very cool. I am irate with myself because of my brain. Thumbs up. Anyway, though, what's the rest of it? I mean, I'm thoroughly derailed now. So let's see, it's, um, huh. So uh, if you could toss me a like, I appreciate all the positive validation I get from my existence. And of course, if you could hit the notification bell on the subscription button, that would be cool. A definite thumbs up. Hokey smokes. Is a, this is something that I hope the meds will be able to stop. I was talking with the psychiatrist slash med manager on the, on the, a, a zoom call and yeah like that right in the middle of talking to her i just went i i have forgotten what the question was i have forgotten what i am saying <sighs> and <laughs> the horse head of encouragement has nothing but love and encouragement for absolutely each and every one of us it thinks we are a beautiful and wonderful species, and that is a good thing, filled with joy and pleasure, curiosity and wonder. A good thing on that. Definitely a thumbs up. And of course, Black Lives Matter. <sighs> and during these hard times, please try to stay as safe and creative as possible. So, if you have to go out, please wear a mask, wash your hands, try not to touch your face, maintain your social distancing, and of course, if you don't have to go out, please don't go out. Past that, you take care. Have a great day today. I will see you on the flip side, and that is a very good thing. People in comments have expressed worry about my taking ADHD meds, whether it would change my personality or this, that, and the other. I have been on mood stabilizers at various times in my past, and this is, is, is not a mood stabilizer. It would not change my personality, just give me the ability to focus and fixate on things, which right now my brain and my thought processes are like a thousand ping pong balls dumped into a wind tunnel. This should bring it down to cut the speed of the wind tunnel down, bring the number of ping pong balls down to about a quarter, so I'll be able to concentrate. It shouldn't do anything to my personality, so we should be good. So you take care, and I will see you, my friend.